How's it going everybody, Ben from Budget Pokemon here, and in this video I'm going to be unboxing this Snow Hazard Booster Box. So it's taken me a little while before I finally got to unboxing this, mainly because I was busy with other videos, I had other videos lined up, and well, the set was pretty expensive. Not as expensive as, um, as Claybers, mind you. That one is still super expensive, so this is the cheaper of the two. Mainly because, well, this one doesn't feature Iono, for one. This one features Grusha, as an example, in Giacomo. But there is also... Oh, yeah, right. This is the... They brought the thing back from Scarlet EX and Violet EX, and I really, really like this. This is a huge plus for me, because even if the foil is missing, I don't think there's any way on how to, like, get this open without anyone noticing. So this is very good. So we're ripping into this. So yeah, no Yono in this one. Of course, Grusha is the one you want to go. I mean, honestly, for this one, I'd just be happy with with pulling anything that's that's not a full art Pokemon. Because for the last few sets, that one was easy to open. Nice. Opening a Japanese set again. This this is always cool. Especially a new one. We've got a Murkrow. Most of these cards you might have seen already from my news video where I featured most of them. Some of them I didn't feature because at the time they weren't released yet or something. But this is still really cool. I always like opening opening new Japanese sets. So yeah, I'm really hoping... What am I hoping for? Of course, the Grusha, anyone. The the normal SR or the, no, yeah, the normal Super Rare or the SAR. Both of them would be would be pretty cool. I think this is a Friggy Bax, I want to say. I don't know, this is the, the evolution already. This is a Bax Caliber. And we've got a Haunch Crow. Okay, let me separate the rares. Get these out of here. Put these over here. So yeah, a huge set again. Normal sized, I guess. So 30 booster packs that we can open. And let's see what we get. So we should get three art rares. One of them is, I think, the Sudo Voodoo is in here. That one is really, really cool. Then what else? The Meryl is cute, the Ice Q. There's a lot of cool ones, but as I've said in my news video, this is a really cool illustration, check this out. As I've said in my news video, I Clayburst just has the better pulls. Not just, you know, the, the so-called chase card with the Iono, but like all the art rares are like much cooler than I like the Tyranitar just comes to mind. That one looks absolutely stunning. That one looks super cool. But hey, this one, this this set is still pretty cool, right? Of course, I just want to open a new a new Japanese set after all. You know, to get get a few new cards here and there. Because opening Japanese cards, I mean, as of right now, is actually pretty expensive. It's probably not feasible for for most of you. Here we have the Giacomo. That would be pretty cool to pull. Of course, the Grusha. The Grusha is what I'm what I'm really after. That would be a great addition for my trainers that I'm that I'm sending to, to CGC. As I've said, I've I've already sent like three cards to CGC, you know, just to test their their German um counterpart. Oh here we go. We have the ice cube. Yo, this is a really cool art rare. Check this out. Or illust yeah art rare. That's the art rare. Illustration rare art rare. You get confused with the terminology. This is actually a pretty cool art rare. This is nice. And a Pelipper. And a Pelipper. Actually I have some I had some sleeves around here. This time I've got a random assortment of sleeves. Let me sleeve this one up. Here we go. The ice cube. That's our first order. We should get two more. And then, of course, one SR for sure. And maybe even an SAR. But we'll see. We shall see. See, nothing in this one. Only a Corvid Knight. And here we have the Grusha. Maybe that's foreshadowing for the... For our secret, or I, I always call it secret rare, but it's not. In Japanese, it's super rares. And I've called them secret rares and like character secret rares for such a long time. But the correct term is actually like super rare for for what we would call like an alternate art or something. Speaking of alternate arts, oh, here we go. We have a, what is this, copper jaw? Yeah, cop copper jaw. Really cool. And a gothetile. 
our first EX card. Let me put this like somewhere here. I have to like make sure that the light isn't glaring. Why don't we put the the rares over here and like do it like this? Yeah, this this seems to be fine. Ice Q. That's a pretty cool art rare. Let's see. Let's see what else we can find in here. Let's see. Oh, here is the second art rare. That is the evolution of Frigibex. This is an Artibex by, of course, Tomukazu Komuya, who is like, he has been around for a really long time. Like, some of his cards even date back to like EX Deoxys era. So, he has been for a really long time. Here we go. Here we have the Sudowoodo. Really hope I pull that art rare. Although, I wouldn't mind pulling the whole evolution line of of this one. Oh, hang on. Let me get a sleeve for you. I've got, like, one of these sleeves. As I've said, I have a random assortment of sleeves here. Because I've actually just moved um, my collection around. I've, I've kept... Well, I've moved most of my cards. You know, my favorite cards and high-tier cards, at least for me, high-tier. Most of them aren't too expensive. Into a new binder, and then the rest I just left in the old one. And that's why I have a bunch of sleeves lying around here, because I picked up the um, the Precious Collector Box binder, you know, the one that you get from the, well, from the Pikachu box, the Precious Collector Box, so-called. And I really like that binder. I missed my chance to order that box back in the day, and I'm really, really upset about it. About that. But, you know, you can't change that. Really wish I did, because I'm pretty sure it was made to order, too. So I would have gotten one no matter what. And that's that's still pretty upsetting, but oh well. Oh well. It is what it is. Can't really change that. But yeah, that binder, for some reason, I was using an, an Ultra Pro binder. It was, like, it was like the, um, like a special binder, like an Ultra Pro binder in yellow with a Pikachu on the front. It was like a special... Special collaboration, I guess, between Pokemon and Ultra Pro. And that one was actually pretty good, like, don't get me wrong. I didn't I didn't switch around because the binder was bad. I just wanted a binder wanted a binder to kind of separate my cards, because I actually just put all of my cards in that single binder, or like most of them. And I kind of wanted uh, something to separate them. So now the, the Ultra Pro binder I I use for my cards that I do want to trade or Maybe, maybe want to sell, and the other one is for, as I've said, my favorite pulls. And here we go, our first terrestrialized EX card. We have the Slowking. No, Slowking, okay. I was correct, I wasn't sure there for a second. We have another Ice Q. Nice, nice. As I've said, one more Art Rare, and then of course our Secret Rare. We are empty on this side. This is the last pick from the, from the right side. So we'll see what we can get from this one. Hopefully something great. The the secret rare, or I, I said it again, the super rare is sure taking its time to show up, right? Maybe it's right here? Nope, that's just a rare. Oh, we have an Obama Snow, nice. Always liked that Pokemon. I used that in my in my first playthrough of Diamond and Pearl. That was pretty cool. Let me grab these box, these boosters from here, and get the box out of here. So we can actually see progress, and it's easier for me to grab the boosters. These are really easy to, to open. For some reason, maybe it's because I haven't opened Japanese boosters in, in a little while. But these feel a bit different, these, these booster packs, for some reason. They feel so much, so much easier to open. And, like, the material doesn't feel like the same material, if that makes sense. These feel more flimsy, in a way. I don't know how to describe it. But it makes them much easier to open, which is good. Because if you've seen my Dream League video, you know, I think it might have been the 200 subscriber special, the 100 subscriber special, I can't remember. Where I opened a Dream League booster box. Those booster booster packs were giving me a really hard time. Like, I had I had some boosters that just didn't want to open. So whatever they did, I, I welcome the change. I I welcome the change. Okay, let's see. The super rare should be showing up here in a second. Nope, not here. I'm just pulling it slowly away because you know, any time now, any time now, man, I'm really just hoping for not another full art Pokemon. 
Cause from my Valve EX box, I've pulled the Spide Ops EX. And from the Triple Beat one, I pulled the Lycan Rock. Both of which were still pretty cool. Nope, not this one. That's just an ordinary one. We have a Vesper Queen. Very cool. Is that by Migumi Higuchi? It is. Nice. Thought I recognized that art style. Really, really cool stuff. I'm really just hoping for for not a full art Pokemon. I take the the Xian uh, Xian Pao or no Wu Xian or Xian Pao. Yeah, both of them. Both of them are pretty cool. But of course the the Grusha. Here we go. We have our last art rare. Let me check. This is the the Dunsparce, the evolution of Dunsparce, of course. This is actually pretty cool. Because you have, like, the Dene here, and like, a bunch of other Pokémon. I like this. This is really cool. This is nice. Add a Corviknight to finish it off. Grab a sleeve for you. You get one of these from... from Crown Zenith from the Elite Trainer box. There you go. That's useless. So that's all the... the artwares we're gonna get. I think we're gonna get one more EX card, at least. And then our... Our secret rare, and then that's it. And then maybe a secret art rare? Or super art rare. I did it again. I th I wonder if I if I'm ever gonna gonna get that into my Oh, we have a gold card. We have a golden water energy. Hey, that is not a full art Pokemon. That is not a full art Pokemon. I think I think this is a um what is this? An ultra rare in, in Japanese? I wonder if this takes the spot for, for our secret rare. I think it does. Because in one of the other boxes that I've opened must have been... It might have been Lost Origin or something. I've pulled a gold card and I didn't pull another super rare. So I think the gold cards take the spot. But then again, I pulled a gold card in... In, um, whatchamacallit, V-Star Universe. And I still pulled my, my Super Rare and Super Out Rare. Because I pulled the Giratina and then right after, like a few boosters after, I pulled the Mewtwo. So I don't know. I guess we'll just have to see. We still have a bunch of booster packs left here. We'll just have to wait and see. But anyways, it is... It's not a full art Pokemon, so I guess that breaks the streak. I guess that breaks the streak. Let's see. Well, that one was a bit tough to open. That means there was something great inside, right? That is how it works. The booster pack is hard to open. As always, there is something great inside. Like, right here is going to be the Grusha. Nope. That's not the Grusha. That's just the Sea Titan. That's just the Sea Titan. Okay. How many do we have left, by the way? One, two, three, four, five, six with this one. Okay. Six booster packs left. Is there anything else I want to talk about? I have to remember. Probably not. Anything else I might have talked about in my other videos? And if not, then in the in the upcoming videos for sure. We have another rare at least. They got the tile. Let's see, so what's upcoming next? By the way, I think the um the shiny Zamazenta and Sa shiny Zashian boxes from um from Crown Zenith are upcoming. So those one would be pretty cool. There's like 10 booster packs inside, so we get a bunch of Crown Zenith booster packs. Here we have a Mimikyu. We've got the, the rares coming in. We've got the, the rares coming in at the last second here. Let's see if we if we can still find a super rare or super art rare. That would be that would make my day. By a crown zenith. I think that that might have be, or that might be the um the last few, few boxes, released, or that might actually be the last box released for crown zenith, and that is a great opportunity because well, ten booster packs, that's gonna be insane. And you also get um not to forget, you get the the shiny Zashian or Zamazenta, as well, which was Japanese exclusive before. Let's see, two booster packs left. Not not very hopeful here to, to find another super rare. So it does mean, I did remember correctly, if you pull a gold card in a normal booster box, Japanese one at least, that does take your, your super rare spot. Well, maybe this last pick will prove me wrong. 
Let's do the the card trick for, for this last one. Let's do it like this. Just one card to the front. And let's see. Maybe in the last pack, you know, that would be insane. That would be absolutely insane. Well, let's see. Nope, it is a Giacomo, though. We finish we're finishing it off with a with a trainer card. Hey, uh, you know what? That's fine by me. That is fine by me. Well, that was my snow hazard opening. This is what I've gotten. Still pretty happy. Really happy about the Ice Cube. The Ice Cube is probably my highlight from this opening. Really like this card. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, then give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, then by all means, give it a thumbs down. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like so I can try to fix that for future videos. And other than that, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Peace, peace.